Praise God! What's the third step of Bible study? Welcome to Bible on the Go with Dr. Dan. The third step of Bible study is application. Application is when we apply the principle or the truth that we find in God's Word to our lives today. What's fascinating about this step is it's the one that's most familiar because it's what most of us, when we first started reading the Bible, tried to do right at first. We didn't pay attention to observation, and we sure didn't pay attention to interpretation. We didn't know. But we just thought, oh, here's the Bible, and it's supposed to apply to my life. So we would read something like John 3.16. It's easy to apply. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him would not perish but have everlasting life. Well, if I'm a whosoever, then it applies to me. And there are verses in the Bible that lend themselves to this third step very easily. The promises of God, uh, Proverbs 3, four, or 3, 5, and 6, which says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not unto your own understanding, and in all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. I'm not suggesting that you shouldn't try to apply the Bible as soon as as reasonably possible. However, in studying a passage, in doing these Bible steps, we want to first observe what is there. That's the first stage. And then to interpret, to ask the questions, who, when, what, where, why, in the second stage. Those are crucial because before I apply the truth of the passage, I have to know what the passage says. You see, Scripture can never mean what it never meant. And so once I've observed it and interpreted it, I'm looking for a principle, a line of continuity that takes me from the then and there of the passage to the here and now of my time, our time in life. For example, Euodia and Syntyche, who were told by Paul to agree with one another in the Lord. Help these women who've been at my side in the gospel. Well, Euodia and Syntyche are back in first century Philippi. They don't live in our world. They wouldn't recognize anything about our world. So I have to ask the question, is there something in that world that's similar in the then and there to my world in the here and now. And in finding that principle, I can, I can make the bridge from the then and there to the here and now and apply it perfectly. Were Euodian Syntyche Christian workers? Yes. Were they dedicated workers? Yes. Did they have a disagreement? Yes, they did. Should they come to agreement? Yes, that's what the passage says. So I can apply that if I find myself in a disagreement with another Christian worker. I can come up with a principle. God's Christian workers should learn to agree with each other when in conflict. That's the application. That's coming from the then and there to the here and now. So when you read your Bible, do your best to find out what it says. Observe. Ask questions. Interpret. And then once you know what it says, feel free to apply it. The first step, observation, is absolutely crucial. The second step, interpretation, helps you to nail down the meaning. And then you get to have the fun of application. It's easy to apply once you know for sure what it says. And in those verses where you can know immediately what it says, take off and apply it. Thanks for watching Bible on the Go with Dr. Dan. Hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell to be reminded of new content. Praise God!